Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha and this is my channel about life in Russia. In this video, I want to show you a district where I grew up. So now I'm in my hometown Spask in one of these districts. And today I will show you these typical Russian country houses with the triangle roof. I also show you the streets, some other streets, elements that are not actually working and I also will show you the yard of my house. So let's go and explore this district. This is a private sector district, which means that here people live in private houses. And I actually live in this kind of house and now I decided to walk around the district a little and now just want to show you it look at this one made of tar this is just some post-soviet classic just like in every russian city Unlike in other countries, Russian houses are separated from the street by a high fence. You will probably never, almost never see it in the United States, but uh, people in Russian villages, they kind of want to keep their privacy because they don't only have, you know, like a nice lawn, but also a whole vegetable garden where they grow potatoes, different vegetables, and they just don't want other people to see them. And now I want to show you one of the landmarks of this district, of this neighborhood. A field and we even filmed a video with my friends here we actually filmed a twilight parody and if you remember there was a moment with uh, like baseball game and for that scene we needed that uh, field so we came here this is the field there's some grocery stores being built but the construction is going for about seven years now and i don't know if they're ever going to finish it let's go father and look at this this is some really beautiful graffiti that appeared here just last year i don't know who painted it but maybe a person who is building this house oh look at this somebody lost the um, what do you call it? Tapachki, slantsy, flip flops. Actually, in my childhood, right here, right here, there was a place uh, we called it Pamoika. Pamoika, it's like a trash place. I remember some really scattered memory. It was an Easter day, and my friends and I, we were about five, we were walking here, and I remember finding some old toy and I took it with myself and also I, I found some football ball a really small one so yeah but now there's no pomoika here this is some new house too I don't remember it and look at this trailer I think it's a really good place for taking pictures like photo shoots let's look inside It is very hot right now, it's about 37 degrees Celsius. And for the refreshment, I bought this kvass. It's a uh, like old Russian Slavic drink made on bread. And uh, it is actually very refreshing. Here we arrived to another intersection. You see some barrel just stands here. Yeah, probably it is a barrel that these people used to, you know, burn some trash in the summer. And in the winter, they apparently burn it in their oven because they heat their house with the oven, as you can see by this tube on the roof. Oh, hello, dog. And this place is called Kalonka. It is a place for pouring water. Guys, write in comments if any of you is familiar with this, you have to push it. And then the water. 
and you can bend and drink it or you can just wash your legs your feet here very practical five star it is very quiet here look at this spider net do you see it it's like oh my gosh where is its host i wonder Oh, look at this bright yellow house this house actually an example of nice old russian patterns it requires a good skill to be able to curve these patterns somebody has abandoned house or maybe it is not abandoned but again just used as a dacha hope there is no dog here oh hello dog how are you today she looks like a fox or maybe <laughs> so guys we already saw kolonka but this is some more developed version of it you can actually use it like a crane i suppose or i don't know why oh yeah it works <laughs> yay fresh water oh my gosh i want to drink it you wouldn't expect that but here behind these trees there is an electricity station and I have some interesting story with this place. When I was 13, I really like painting graffiti, so I decided to paint one here and I took some paint cans. So you can see this uh, unclear picture of an angry bird that I painted. The story is that that adventure was really really risky and scary for me because you know it's like illegal so i came here started painting and by the funny coincidence exactly that time the whole electricity in this neighborhood was turned off so some electricians decided to come to this very station and when i heard that the car is approaching the only thing that i could do i <laughs> hid behind this corner so i came here and just stand it here for about uh, like 10 minutes waiting when he repairs all these things and i was very scared i thought that oh my gosh i'm going to be taken to the police but then he did all his electricity stuff and just disappeared and i continued my graffiti but as you can see it is very not of a good quality because it was really fast and i was really scared so it's not one of the best pictures Oh, wow, look at this little house. There are children there. Ой, ребят, привет! Это вы халабуду себе построили? О, молодцы! Вы тут жить будете? Нет. А можно посмотреть? Ой, у вас тут прям. Да, ничего. У вас тут даже цветочки стоят. Цветочки, конфетки. Завтра я чай принесу. Сейчас. Я конфеты, он что-нибудь еще. А как вы так сделали? То есть вы взяли бревна, получается? Это вы сами Шпала. все? Или вам помогли? Да, я с ним делал злоба шпалы таскали. Mm -hmm. Ну, я тогда ласки он дал вот с кучи. Оба, но оно... А я он... с братом... Брат его, получается, нечаянно скинул, оно сломалось. Окно отсюда и все. Понятно, ну молодцы. Будущий строитель. Вау, just randomly stumbled some little guys who were building their first house. This is called Halabuda or Shtab in some other regions of Russia. And it is like a summer house that I think the kids are building all over the world. And I was doing such things in my childhood too. But then I noticed one of the boys running after me and he asked me what was the name of my YouTube channel. What did you Вы не против, если я вас видео добавлю? Ну там особо, там видно просто домик ваш и весь район. Да блин, мы даже не хотим, чтобы попасть в видео. Мы хотим в топ YouTube, то в TikTok попасть. Понятно. These boys were really cute and funny in their little fort. They even brought flowers to make it look like a real house. It reminded me of my childhood when we climbed trees, played in the sand pit and caught leaves from a ditch, pretending that it was a fish. Probably all kids who grew up in the rural area share the same memories.
But don't think that all Russians live like this. In fact, the majority of Russian people live in apartment blocks, the heritage of the Soviet Union. It's cramped and uncomfortable, but many people take refuge in a dacha. Dacha is a Russian concept of a country house, so people don't usually live there the whole year. They just come there in the summer, plant some vegetables, spend their time with their families. So it's just a way to escape from a big city. But the houses I'm showing you now are actually a hybrid of a dacha and an apartment. Because people, they live here all the year, they heat the house with this furnace because you can see the tube. They, of course, all have the electricity, the TV, some of them have internet and all the communications, but other people don't have it and they have to use the kolonka that we saw, this standpipe. In my house, we have all the communications, we have internet, electricity, we have tap water, but uh, we used to heat our house with the furnace and we're still doing it, but we are partially heating it with electrical heaters too. So now I want to show you the yard of my house. Of course, not this one, but something similar. Welcome! Welcome to our yard and this is my dog June who will be accompanying me the whole video. What did you take there? June! This is an attic and in my childhood my sister and I were making our fort here. Some grapes here already. And we even made house Y. This little building was a chicken coop, but my parents uh, gave up breeding chicken because it was really unprofitable for us to uh, like to feed them, then to sell the eggs. And this is our old washer. Junya, привет. If I don't touch, I don't. This is our old toilet, just like in Shrek. Soon. But when I was four years old, my parents made canalization, so now our house has all the communications like electricity, toilet, tap water. And I actually feel kind of embarrassed filming this video. Even my mom asked me to not show some particular parts of our yards. Mm, but I just want to clarify. Maybe it might seem to you that. I'm trying to show you like Russian simple country life. But in fact, we live in a city. My parents, they have to work all the time and that's why they just don't have time for the chickens. Uh, I'm not even speaking about like breeding cattle and so on. So I would say that our house shares quality of an apartment rather of uh, a country house. But still we have but still, it's really nice to live here because you're literally close to the nature and you have your own and you have your own personal space, which people living in apartments don't have. I'm really glad that in my childhood I had this opportunity to live here before I moved to Khabarovsk. And this is the time to show you the most important part of our yard, our vegetable garden. And this is what happens when June manages to sneak to this garden. Then we go, 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 go. Different vegetables, uh, tomatoes, uh, cabbages and potatoes. And now, guys, I want to show you how we are digging potatoes. We have to pry the ground. Now I'm taking this uh, at sarapka. I don't know what to call it in English. It's scratch, maybe. Scratch on the ground from the potatoes. And here we have our potatoes. They're actually not that uh, small. I like it. And here's our bucket. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If so, smash the like button, tap the bell, write your comments, special thanks to my patrons. And see you in the next video. Goodbye. Пока-пока.